This weekend, I'm going to talk about a very important teaching for you to hold on to, and that is to know without a doubt that you are needed. I've had many wonderful friends, great people that were introverts that said to me privately that they felt quite uncomfortable in large groups, especially when they didn't know anyone and they were invited and they found themselves standing in a corner not knowing how to approach people. I had a minister friend one time, very effective minister, but he was such an introvert that he had trouble in large groups, social settings. Here is the way to overcome that. You tell yourself that you are needed. Really, it's more of reminding yourself that God has created special gifts in you and that you are needed in this particular situation. It says in Proverbs 15, verse 16, a person's gift makes room for them. You have a uniqueness, you have a specialness, and you are needed. And how satisfying and how gratifying it is to feel needed. And without exception, every one of us is needed. You feel that uncomfortable feeling coming up. You just tell yourself over and over again, a thousand times if you need to, you are needed. And you'll find that situations change. Doors open up. And you will find out with your senses and in front of your eyes why you're there and why you are needed. We're all here for a purpose, and we have something to give to life. We have something to contribute to the particular environment that we find ourselves in, in the moment. It is true that in ways in which we are needed, change as conditions in our life change. Now, for example, our adult children may not need us in the same way as they did when they were small, but our love for them is still needed. Our faith in them is still needed. We may not be needed in a particular job that once claimed all of our time and all of our efforts and energy, but there are other ways to serve. Our efforts, our interests, our abilities are still needed. And sometimes we just have to remind ourselves of our value, what we can do, and that we're ready to serve. When circumstances change, Instead of thinking that we're not needed, let us know that we are needed. Let us be ready to find new and exciting ways to serve, new ways to use our special gifts for the blessing and the enrichment of our life and also the lives of others. I remind you, and I ask you to remind yourself, you are needed.